Alright people, so yeah, Sunday Man is the deck that will be taken off of Daily Duels for uh, the Great Migration. So, uh, but you know, uh, you know Crack Mirror is in far behind, you know, if we decide to go ahead and uh, replace one of the tag decks with something different, then it's probably going to be um, uh, Crack Mirror. Heraldics, man, they got the most votes out of anybody, like, wow. Like, everybody, the mother wants Heraldics, I do not know what's up with that deck, but, you know, ever since it's been... It's been on Daily Duels, it's been a lot of fun, I really enjoy it. It's a really simplistic deck, and, um, you know, it's nice to play, and, you know, I'm fine with that deck not going. Uh, the votes were, it's actually, I think it was like 16 votes for Haldix, 10 votes for, uh, Kwaku Mirror, and then 10 votes for Hungry Men. So, you know, I got the, I got to do the last vote, because no one else was commenting, I was just like, you know what, Hungry Men has not been working, uh, it looked, fi it looks fine on paper, but then when you try it in action, the deck just doesn't want to cooperate, you know, if you don't get very key-specific cards, the deck doesn't work, and, you know, you might as well just not play it at all, so, uh, I like, I like the idea of it, it was cute and all, but in the end, it just didn't work, so, here we go, we're just gonna go ahead and take it off. So, uh, trains will be taking this deck's place on Daily Duels for, um, Monday, which is fine. So, uh, you know, Lunar and Tiago get a much stronger partner in trains than they do with this deck, definitely. Now, because this was kind of like, you know, rank 4 dot thunder deck battery man. Like I said, I, w I wanted to do a little bit more, the idea with it was I wanted to do a little bit more than just run battery man. You know, and especially since I couldn't run Microcell, I wanted to do something more with, uh, you know, uh, 9 volt. And I was like, oh, 9 volts level 4 Thunder, alright, let me run some Hunters with it, and there you go, you know, and so, instead of just going summon 9 volt, you know, search, and then it dies in phase, I can go, like, summon Maw Hunter, Paw Hunter, summon 9 volt, search, and then maybe get an Ixion. So, that was the gist of it, but the deck was just not working. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do the deck profile of this deck, and, uh, you will get two daily duels, uh, you know, later today at 1.30 Pacific Time, and they will, of course, be, uh, you know, the two, uh, tag duels, with um with uh trains so there we go so starting off of course not uh triple nine volt uh this guy was like he's like the centerpiece of the deck you know not only is he another thunder for uh you know ma hunter and pa hunter you know because you know before nine volt you used to run some people would run like you know um watts or sometimes they would run like uh i think it was uh triple a or double a or whatever his name was just for another thunder monster you know, just for Mon Hunter, because just these things, Mon Hunter, Paul Hunter can't touch themselves. So, they can touch each other, but they can't touch themselves. So that's the problem. So, uh, you know, being able to run 9 volt, you know, summon, go ahead to search on, you can search for itself. Or you can go ahead and get another one. If you have another Mon Paul Hunter, you can search for a charger. You can search for a fuel cell. So, uh, yeah, that was the gist of it. And he's a nice 2000 beater when he summoned. With his effect, he's destroyed on the end but hey, he's a nice 2000 beater, right? Alright. Three Ma Hunter, three Paw Hunter. Uh, they pretty much do the same thing, except they can't summon themselves. So if you go Paw Hunter, you can't summon a Paw Hunter. If you go Ma Hunter, you can't summon Ma Hunter. But they pretty much, you know, they give you that additional uh, summon. So that's uh, pretty good. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to go ahead and do something more than Battery Man. The idea was to have Battery Man on Daily Duel, but I wanted something more than just Battery Man. I wanted to have more. So, you know, as, as a single deck, you know, Battery Man, they can, they're pretty good. They can LTK. But as a tag deck, that's the problem. You throw them in tag, I gotta take down 16,000, I can't take down 16,000, I'm sorry, you know, in one turn, I can't with TK, that's, that's, that's almost impossible, so, you know, I want to go ahead and try Hunters instead of, uh, you know, Microcell, because, you know, that doesn't work too with the whole flip or, you know, Resolve and Grave, you know, if they don't attack it, then, you know, it's kind of hard to float with my partner if they don't have the same cards I do, you know, because at that point, we would just be double decking, which is, I'm not totally, I'm not for, <laughs> you know. But, uh, Mom and Pa Hunter, you know, I wish that I would get them more often, because when I got them, like, I went to a mixy place, but when I didn't, you know, this deck didn't really do much. I, and, because I wanted to see these guys, I wanted to see these guys all the time, I ran Triple Thunder Seahorse, and then sometimes I went to see Triple Thunder Seahorse, you know, my friend Renny, he runs, he has a Hunter deck, and when he doesn't get his Thunder Seahorse, his plays are so anticlimactic, he runs out of resources, you know, so definitely Thunder Seahorse is a must, but, you know, if you don't get it, and you're not getting that plus, you're not getting that search, it hurts, it definitely hurts, so... I wanted to run Thunder Seahorse as consistently as possible, get as much as possible, and sometimes I just didn't see it. 
Then you have my second favorite lady in Yu-Gi-Oh, of course, next to you, Belle, uh, Dekaseka here. I love Dekaseka. She is just a boss-ass bitch, you know? I hate, you guys know I hate back row, you know, that Roto Kree is my favorite trap card. So just being able to just uh, just drop this bitch is just so awesome. She's super expensive right now, and, you know, she's always a planner, and, God, she's just so good, you know? It's just, you just lie around. Like, you got that solemn warning? No? Then... I give up because you said all that background I'm just gonna go summon Dekaseka, poke poke poke, you know, she's a nice meaty seventeen beater and you know I just love that she locks on back row. Alright, I ran two charters. I I wanted to cut it down to one. I was thinking about cutting it down to one, but then, you know, especially since I did not running any revival besides like this card, uh, you know, I can I can search for one and something happens and I can never search for it again. That's why I ran two, so I can go like, you know, nine volt Search for chargers, do whatever my play. Oh, alright, nine volt, you know, search for the other charger, try to do the same thing. So, uh, that's why I ran two. I said, I was debating about one, but two seems like the right number, especially with uh, Monarch Storm Fourth. Alright, I ran triple fuel cell. Uh, sometimes he was cloggy, you know, I would I would draw fuel cell more often than I would draw nine volt, paw hunter, maw hunter, or thunder seahorse, or Dengoseke. It would be a lot of fuel cells. You know, fuel cell is actually pretty good. I like, I don't really like industrial strength. I'm really not for that. You know, it never worked out for me when I tried it and it just clogged. But uh, uh, fuel cell, on the other hand, uh, worked out pretty decently. So uh, also, you know, kind of works with Monster Force. It's not a play that I would like to do, but you know, it's a play that I can do. But uh, you know, you I like to run triples. So I can go ahead and high switch ability, so you know, I can go you know, summon a uh, nine volt, search for you know. You know, charger or whatever, tribute it, search for another fuel, summon fuel cell, summon, 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 you know, and, uh, you know, you can, of course, do the M7 combo where, you know, you have, uh, you know, like a charger and three fuel cells, and you XC two of the fuel cells in the M7, detach, add the fuel cell back, and then summon the fuel cell again because you would still have two battery men on the field. So, there you go, that's the M7 combo. It works out pretty well. So, uh, Slate did, and I was like, oh, yeah, that works. So, yeah. And, of course, too honest, and it went to two. You know, I love just summoning Dekaseka, locking down the background, and they try to summon something stronger than Dekaseka attack arms, like honest. And you're just like, fuck! So, you know, they decided to go ahead and put honest up to two. I mean, if any deck's gonna have run it honest at two, it's gonna be this one. So, might as well run it, right? Then I ran triple cycling batteries, because, like I said, sometimes this deck just craps out. Uh, it was never bad, it just, it was, the only time it was bad is because I would never have, you know, Maw Hunter or anything that I wouldn't grab back. Sometimes I would have, like, double 9 volt and be like, why the fuck do I want to grab 9 volt? So, you know, if I had the Maw Hunter or the Paw Hunter, I would totally want to do it. But, uh, you know, it's nice to go ahead and recycling battery your car back and then go back into, uh, your XC, uh, toolbox. So, that's the reason why I use, like, my, my triple charger, just so I can have another summon. So, like, summon 9 volt, search for charger, it would get killed, battery... Battery Charter, Summon 9 Volt, Search for, you know, like, a Fuel Cell Tribute, because I have a normal Summon, so Tribute, Summon Charger, Charger, Summon another Fuel Cell, Spread Summon the Fuel Cell that I just searched for, so it had combo pieces, also I could summon it, and then, you know, normal Summon something else, make it exceed play. Uh, this card was not bad, you know, playing 500 for a Monster Born for Battery Men, not bad, not bad. Uh, then I ran Triple Monarch Stone Force, so I can go ahead and just, you know, Tribute my opponent's Monsters. Just in case, so uh, I can just tribute my opponent's monster, summon charger, and then charger, go ahead and uh, summon from the deck. So that was uh, just with that. It worked out okay. It wasn't, you know, like these two. Um, and that's another reason. I was worried about this clogging with this and, you know, this not getting this. So it was hard to find the ratio, and then the deck just didn't work the way I wanted it to. Of course, the one Regeki uh, broke snatch and uh, broke charge, these two. These two. This is this is starting to get on my nerves a little bit too, but these two are just like, ah, uh, you know? These these are the ones where you just let out that sigh of fucking frustration when your opponent just drops these on your ass. But hey, maybe this card would get rebanned and it, it wouldn't be the first time a card was banned and they took it off ban and then rebanned it. So, there you go. They wanted to test it and clearly it's stupid. So, Snatch Deal should get rebanned. Um, and I run Triple Insta Fusion. So I can go ahead and Insta Fusion and Tribute, I can Insta Fusion and then make an XC. I wish I could summon a Light so I can go into Palette Domino, but the only Light uh, level 4 Fusion is, I think, uh, that one female Glow Moss, and you can't summon her with Insta Fusion, so that sucks. But, uh, yeah, just, you know, play this, go into XC or play this Tribute, so it's kind of like a Monster Time 4th, except, you know, it's my mo it's my own Insta Fusion monster. And then Triple Road of course, because Road of the best, and... Fuck back row, especially in tank duels. Alright, I should like 1-1-1, one, 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 one Castell. I like this ratio of 1-1. One one. 
Then, of course, I ran two Paladamonos because his deck is majority of white, and I really like Paladamon. I think that any deck that can run Paladamon and have fun with him, because he doesn't get used that often, especially with the existence of Castile 101. This guy's kind of obsolete, so it's nice to go ahead and be able to uh, play him. Um, run M7. Like I said, the M7 play, and M7 is just generally good as one of the best rank sixes. Uh, Photon Strike Bowser is also a really good rank six. Uh, Dark Rebellion Exceed Dragon, definitely, definitely. He, he is, he, I kind of, I, I kind of you know, shoo, shooed him away. Uh, and when I did the car review video, and I was like, oh, he's, he's not room, there's no room for him in the toolbox. There is. You know, there's been totally times where I was just like, god damn it, they summoned something stronger that, you know, that I can't take with the 101, or I don't have the kind of style, and I'm just going to attack over it. And I just wish that I had, you know, Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon. So, definitely, he, I said he wasn't going to be in the toolbox. He's in the toolbox. I really like this guy. You know, he, he, he saved myself. He saved my butt a handful of times, or he didn't because he wasn't there, and he should have been there. So, definitely run him. Um, if you have the room, like I said. Uh, Lavalo Chain, I like him. You know, go ahead and put something on top of the deck that I need for later, definitely. Uh, Cowboy wins game. Um, I'm starting to kind of favor 2 Exitons, especially in Tag Duel. Because Tag Duels can easily, you know, turn around so easily. And there's been a couple of times where I'm just like, damn, I wish I ran 2 Exitons. So you know what, if I have to run, room to run 2 Exitons, I'll run it. You know, I'm not Evil Storms, but I'll go ahead and do it. I know, I'm bad. I'm running 2 Exitons, that's bad, but... Especially in tag duels, you know, I can exiton, then my opponents can still turn around the duel, get up and resist, and I'll just exiton again, though, because, and they won't expect two exitons. I mean, who expects two exitons? Then one Omega, I don't even think I've used him once, but, you know, if you're gonna run Hunters or anything with Hunter related, you gotta run the one Omega that's given, and then these are my institutions. Just triple Dark Flare, like I said. I'm not gonna run Noden, and, uh, I refuse to run Noden, really, and, uh, I wish I would have been able to run, uh, that female Glomos, whatever her her name is, but I can't. She can't be into the fusion, so you know, maybe one of these days we'll go ahead and get a light level four fusion monster. But I don't know. No, so there you go. There it's hundred men. I said I, it looks fine on paper. You see, and then you're just like, you know what, Dan? That doesn't look bad. But then when I use it in duels, it just doesn't work. So, yep. You now this deck gets the dishonorable discharge. It gets taken off of daily duels just because it didn't work. Like I said, I, I was the final choice. I could have easily said, you know what? 100 men are working out. Quacky Mirror, you're out. But no, I didn't. I clearly chose this deck for a reason. You know, and it's ever since it's been put on here, it got kind of put on here as a makeshift deck. I was kind of like, oh, well, I need something, in, as, you know, in its place. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know what? Let's go ahead and put this on here. You know, Medoches were getting kind of boring and tired, and I was like, Thunder Men, you know, I was interested in Battery Men, and I was like, you know what? Let's try 100 men. Let's try this deck. You know? So thank you, Lunar, for going ahead and making the thumbnail for me. Sorry, I kind of had to just, you know, get rid of it now. You know, so this is the final thumbnail you'll see of this deck on my channel. You know, Lunar actually made the thumbnail for me. And, um, yeah, so uh, be sure to tune back in later today. More Daily Duels with uh, Trains being as a tag deck, which will totally work fine. I already changed the deck around. It's totally, it's totally ready to go. Like I said, all I had to do was just take out um, the Vanities and the Skill Drains, throw in some Royal Decrees, bam, there you go. So... Uh, let's go ahead and see how it is. And then, uh, the other cards I want to try it on. I, ha I put in a Regeki. I already have a Soul Charge, so I put in a Regeki, a Snatch Deal, and a uh, Limit Removal. So I want to go ahead and try out those three. Limit Removal, maybe not. I might take that out. Because I was like, oh, Limit Removal, I can easily OTK once again. It's not 18, it's not 8,000, 16,000. 8,000? Maybe. 16,000? I don't think so. So, maybe we'll go ahead and, uh, and put back, I mean, take out limit removal. I'll find something. I'll find something. It's not that hard to put something in. So, um, anyway, uh, yeah, this is the deck profile for 100 Man. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thank you for supporting 100 Man here on Daily Duels. Thanks for watching. Uh, the Great Migration is now complete as soon as, uh, trains are, tag decks are up, and there you go. The Great Migration is over. So I hope that you guys enjoyed, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys later today with more Daily Duels, tagging with Tiago and uh, lining up with Hooter. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.